Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today is Monday, October the 14th and I am back. It has been, oh, probably a week, a little over a week since I have uh, done any live streams or videos or anything. I am back and the Disney Skyliner is back. What a, uh, a crazy mishap last week. Um, we're past that, we're beyond it, and now the Disney Skyliner is back open and I'm here to enjoy a ride on this amazing, amazing mode of transportation that you guys know that I love. I do apologize for being gone for the last week. Um, my house, as you most of you know that I've posted, that I bought a house uh, here in Florida and the move has just been absolutely crazy. Um, most of the houses when you buy them down here are usually vacation rentals. So when we bought the house, we bought it fully furnished. So everything was inside the house. We've had to move everything out of that house, go through the things that we wanted to keep and not keep. We had to do all that, then we had to clean the house, clean the carpets, do all that stuff, and now we're in the process of moving our stuff in. It's just a crazy, crazy uh, time-consuming issue that uh, really has consumed my entire week. So I do apologize for being gone that week. Uh, I know there's been a lot going on. The Skyliner has been going through uh, testing modes and things like that, but they are back. It is back and running, and I cannot wait to jump back on here and go for an amazing ride. And thank you so much for uh, sort of coming along and joining me. Obviously, I love when you guys are here. and. Um, I guess that's it. So I'm going to turn you around if I can make my button work here. And you can see there it is. We're at Hollywood Studios and everybody is getting on board here. Now it is uh, fully running today. It opened at 8 a.m. this morning. It's supposed to run until 1030 tonight. Uh, there are a couple days this week they're, they're going to shut down certain parts of the line. I believe Hollywood Studios and then another line they're going to shut down just to do some sort of updates or a little more testing or whatever they need to do. Uh, but for the most part, it's uh, it's up and running, and you know people are going back and forth. So we're going to jump on board and have some fun. It's a little sunny out here, so it's hard to see the uh, the comments right now. So when we jump on board, we'll try to take a look at them. Uh, maybe I'll get into a gondola by myself. Sometimes it's hard to uh, chat with other people in the gondola. I don't like to be too rude with other people in there with me. So we'll play it as we go. But there it is, Disney Skyliner. Matthew Kind, thank you so much. 499 super chat. Thank you so much for the kind. Very, very kind support. Great to have you back here, my friend. All right, looks like they have the... Uh... Hello. Hi. Sign out here right now. Operating hours, Disney's Hollywood Studios, 8 a.m. to 10.30, Epcot, 8 a.m. to 10.30, and Pop Century Out of Animation, 8 a.m. to 10.30. So everything is fully open today. Let's see, similar to other gondola systems around the world, flights aboard Disney Skyliner may occasionally be interrupted with stops and delays. That's a new sign, but that is very true. I mean, I've been stopped on here. There's been delays when I've ridden it. Uh, things happen. It's a, it's a mechanical piece of apparatus and things can happen just like any other attraction, just like any other ride in Disney World and any theme park across the world, any mode of transportation. There can be delays, there can be breakdowns, there can be all kinds of things that happen. It's just part of, uh, part of what happens when you deal with things like this. Obviously, people will have their own opinions on how they feel about the Skyliner. Uh, my personal opinion is that I still love it. I think it's definitely one of the safest modes of transportation that you could have. Disney is very safety oriented. I've always said that. They've obviously taken the time to go through this and to make sure that everything is working just the way they want it. So I'm very, very excited to jump back on board here. Hey, Kevin and Teresa, I know I'm sorry I missed you guys last week. It's just been a really, really crazy, crazy week. Carol, yes, three hours. It's, it's sad that uh, people did get stuck on the Skyliner for that long, but again, things happen. People have been caught on attractions. I've been personally caught on attractions. I've been caught on the People Mover, on Spaceship Earth, where I've actually had to leave and evacuate the rides. I mean, things happen. That's just the way it is. Uh, just one? One. Second. Three, come on, please. Watch the step. Can I? Thank you. Looks like we might get our own, maybe. All right, I think they're gonna let me go on my own. Cool. Yeah, 
And off we go. Michael Groot, welcome. Margaret, welcome. Mistakes happen, absolutely. Weston, welcome. I think this is the first time that I've actually ridden it completely by myself. I've either had my family or other people riding with me, so. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. Oh, it's good to hear again. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. So beautiful up here. Now it may get a little choppy. Sometimes my signal gets a little choppy as we uh, get a little further on the line here, so I do apologize. Once we get over to the Caribbean beach though, it'll, it'll clear up. So if I do get choppy, bear with me and we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more when we get over to Caribbean beach. Disney, welcome. Ned's room four, Ned's room. Ah, uh, you say I sold out. Well, I guess everybody can have their own opinion. Um, I don't believe I've sold out at all. This is just my personal opinion about the Skyliner. I think it's an amazing mode of transportation. And I particularly uh, just didn't have any interest in um, covering what happened with it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm not here to, uh, you know, have bad thoughts or bad ideas. And, you know, they're reopened. I'm riding the Skyliner, and I'm happy about it. So. The water that flows from the protected wetlands around Walt Disney World Resort travels all the way to the Everglades, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. Around the world, video and audio are great, awesome. It's usually when I get through the trees here is kind of when it gets a little choppy. So I apologize if it happens. Maybe it won't, and that'll be great. Rodney, welcome. Michael B. was waiting to hear from me. Uh, again, if you're just joining me, I do apologize for being gone the last week. Um, I just bought a house in Florida, and it's just been crazy, crazy moving in and out. So it's just completely wrapped up all of my time over the past week. Walt Disney World Resort is over 40 So I won't just, just kind of ride it until we get over to the Caribbean. Thank you so much. Uh, moving it so much for the super chat. Hopefully not too choppy. But thank you very, very much. Moving is much more to than I thought it was. Moved from Ohio, and it seems like moving from Ohio. Caribbean Beach Resort shortly. All passengers must disembark and transfer at this station. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. Absolutely. It is beautiful up here. Around the world, have I seen the new Figment bus? I have not. I heard there's a BB-8 bus. I have not seen the Figment bus. Until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Like I said, I have not been here the last week, so I haven't seen any of the new buses, um, anything that's going on here. I've just been so concentrating on the new house, and uh, I do apologize for me getting back here. Bumpy when you come in, my voice kind of shook a little bit. All right, I'm going to jump out here and we'll chat a little bit more. All right, thank you very much. Sir. Go ahead. Thank hello, you. hello, thank hello. Hey, hello. How are you? Hello. All right, I saw the question, are people hesitant to get on the Skyliner today? I don't believe so. This looks uh, pretty normal for the middle of the day. The Epcot line is definitely a little busier than, than the other lines. Uh, more people want to head over there. Uh, international you know, Food and Wine Festival going on, so that's a great thing. 
But no, I, I don't think this is going to, you know, defer passengers in any way. It definitely does not defer me riding it. And I'm a big chicken when it comes to a lot of things, so I have no problem getting back on. And again, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't anything to do with the ride system. It wasn't anything to do with being up there on the haul rope. It wasn't anything to do with the movement of the gondolas. Uh, you know, it's just a simple fluke. It's a, it's a malfunction that happens. Any ride can have a malfunction. I mean, things happen. Like I said, I've been stuck on different rides. I've been stuck in Spaceship Earth, had to walk down Spaceship Earth and the people mover and all these things. So, you know, it is what it is. It's an amazing, fun attraction. Uh, I keep calling it an attraction. It's, it's a mode of transportation, so. But it just seems like an attraction because it's so fun to do. Kevin and Teresa, thank you so much. Great to have you back live. I love the Skyliner. Wife did uh, not, which makes it difficult for me to ride. Uh, Doppelmeyer is an amazing company. Thank you for the great content. You are welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for the, uh, the very generous super chat. Adriana, I will be there on the 30th. Hopefully, we'll be passing on the Skyliner. Absolutely, we'll be going back and forth. I'll be riding this thing as much as I can again. Uh, you know, as long as it's not interfering with the house. I do have another uh, couple weeks ahead of me as far as trying to get this house together. We are moving all of our stuff now in. Uh, I had to move all the stuff that was there out, and now we're moving in, and then obviously getting everything ready. Um, just a lot of craziness going on. So again, if you're just joining, I do apologize for being gone You know, the last week. Just like I always say, family and life sometimes has to come first, and that's just what happened in this case. But we're back, Skyliner's back open. Uh, here to have a lot of fun just enjoying this so much greg good to see you thank you so much expedition greg thank you so so much haven't talked to you in a while uh either buddy i mean we got to get together uh come ride the skyliner that'll be a lot of fun to do uh who else do we got here saw another one come through ruby princess congrats on the new home may keep you and your family happy and safe always uh, funds for some Mickey uh, salt and pepper shakers uh, or the Windex. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, I think I'll be getting the Windex first because we had a lot of cleaning to do. Um, it was a vacation rental, which a lot of the homes are down here. They use them, you know, people come down and they rent homes all the time. So it was fully furnished. We had to get all that stuff out and now we're getting everything in and cleaning it. And I cleaned the carpets and it's just been craziness. Uh, I was even sick for a little bit of that time as well. And, you know, just trying to get over everything. And now we're just here to have some fun. Bill, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the new home. Jack, Sandy Claus, Logan. I wish I was moving up uh, California. Well, they, yeah, absolutely. I wish you were moving too. Leanne, hello, Brian. Uh, Brian, welcome. Robert Film Vlogs, uh, it's past uh, eight o'clock in England. I know the time differences are always crazy. I always love the, uh, the UK folks joining me here though. All right, we're going to, let's see. I think I'm actually gonna take the, uh, the Pop Century route here. Looks like a little bit of a shorter line. Just wanted to jump on and ride it today. We'll definitely come back more during the week. Pop Century and Art of Animation. I love going over the water here. It's like just a temporary delay here in the station. Johan, hello from uh, Sweden. It's 21 Sweden. Steph, welcome. Doris, welcome. David, I'm on the uh, Coronado Spring, or I'm at Coronado Springs next week on Monday the 21st, uh, October, and looking uh, forward to come plus riding the new Skyliner. You're going to have a great time at Coronado, I guarantee you that. It's so beautiful there. And you're going to have a great time riding the Skyliner, too. Nikki, love that you keep getting the glimpse of Trinidad. Yeah, this is a beautiful view of Trinidad now from the station. 
Uh, just an amazing view that you were never able to see before. Now that they built the station over here, you get this really awesome view of Trinidad right across the, across the lake. William, welcome. Lori Dunsing, thank you so much. So glad uh, you are doing this just in time. We arrive at Pop Century tomorrow. Uh, hope to get uh, settled into my new home. Thank you so much. Just one. If you want an unobstructed view. That would be awesome. If you want the pod, thank you so much. Hourglass Lake is beautiful, so. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Unobstructed gondola. Rock, yes, cast members are awesome. The Skyliner cast members have really been great. Uh, you know, they're, they're learning as they go here too. Um, you know, so many people getting on and off the gondolas and they're doing a great job dealing with everything. Uh, she asked me if I actually wanted an unobstructed view. She saw that I was, you know, taking pictures and stuff. So I thought that was really nice of her. and it's beautiful too. So there's Trinidad. Again, views that we would never have before because this was, this was all just wooded area back here and it was all closed off. And then just beyond it, those, beyond it, beyond that is uh, Bonnet Creek. And then the, some of, uh, I believe Hotel Plaza Boulevard is down there as well like the Marriott and Hilton and all that stuff. See, Robert going to be coming uh, Just ahead the second the Disney News YouTuber in the UK soon. Awesome. Good luck, my friend. A larger than life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films. Hey, From McBean, welcome. To reality. On your left is Disney's Pop Century Resort, a memorable resort that celebrates the way we live, and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century. See, Nacho uh, Mutica, ho hopefully I said that right. Yeah, here's the uh, the closings. October 16th, Disney's Hollywood Studios line will be closed while the other two lines are available from 1 to 10.30. October 17th through the 18th, all lines will be open from 1 p.m. to 10.30. Thank you for posting that. I appreciate that. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. This was worth wait. You know, being closed for a week just to In go just through months, and do the retesting and make sure everything is, is safe. That's great. World we're back on, we're Happy enjoying ourselves. Here for your Disney's Pop Century Resort and for Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Thank you for flying the Disney Skyliner. Bon voyage. Michael, it is a beautiful view today. Look at the how the sun just sparkles over the water. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your steps. Thank you for flying. The that's, that's still my favorite part is when you come in and it slows down like that, it just comes in really quick. Gives it just a little bit of thrill. Hello. All right. 
Beautiful, beautiful ride. JW Dasso, we'll be there in next August. Looking forward to riding with you. Yes, absolutely. Please let me know. Definitely want to take a ride on the Skyliner together. Anybody that comes down here, if we can hook up and ride the Skyliner, I am all for that. Big thumbs up on that. That would be totally awesome. To the park. Hey, how are you? Hey, Rob. How are you? Welcome, Charles. I've been following you for several months. Awesome. Now. I'm live. Do you want to be on? Or? I'm live right now. This <laughs> Say, is my son. Yeah, hi, Charles. Hi, guys. How awesome. You doing? What's your name? AJ. AJ, how are you? Good. Good to meet you. Yeah, you guys have ridden, I assume? Not yet. We're getting ready to go over to Caribbean Beach. And yeah. Lunch and I'm, heading, I'm heading over there now. You want to take a ride? Or? I'd love to ride with you. Yeah, come on. If you're ready, were you heading over there now? Or? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I was just coming down and I got a thing here saying you're live streaming. Yeah. I'm going to have to go say hi to this guy. This yeah, they just uh, reopened today, so yeah, we you guys are lucky. Yeah. So first time rider, that's cool. After you. Yeah, this is like one of the most beautiful scenes down through uh, Hourglass Lake as well, so. I follow you quite a bit, so I've been following your videos. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that. Since they, since they were running just the arms over. Yeah, it's yeah, been a while. Enough. It's been two years. Hello. Three? Right this way, Rob. Awesome. Hey, you know me. Yeah, I know you. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here, I'll sit on this side. You guys can get the good view. Okay. Call me by my name. I had to think about it for a second. I'm like, how's he know me? Oh, you must know me. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people you're, watch, so that's cool. You're famous, you're famous in yeah. some places. Yeah, I was, yeah, I'll get your reaction so you can see it for eternity here. So. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's, it's a little interesting at first, so. <laughs> but it, it's really smooth once we're up. Oh, wow. My first ride on Skyliner, and I get a ride with Welcome Rob. Hey, Disney that's awesome. Skyliner. I love riding with people who haven't ridden yet, so. Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot International Gateway. Yeah, See how there's good breeze in here too. Your hair is blowing around. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. Have you ever ridden Peter Pan at the Magic Kingdom? Actually, I have not. No? It's very similar to this. This is what I always compare it to. It's just that very smooth. Right. Yeah, this is, this is great. Yeah. It's so much better than waiting for those buses. Oh, I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you get right on. You literally walk up and get right on. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I chose to stay at Pop Century. And then last week when all that happened, yeah. I was just, you know, it's like, oh no, I'm going to miss it. And yeah. This morning we came out and looked at, we went to the bus stop, we went to the Animal Kingdom, and I saw the signs that said for Epcot and, and Hollywood Studios. Skyliner. Skyliner, awesome. Yeah, I got online, I looked up the news, and it said, now open. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody sent me a message this morning and said, they're open. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to finally get back out there. I haven't been here in like a week because I just bought a house yeah, I, and I, been I just crazy there. doing all that. So, yeah. I, in just a few moments, you, you buy a we will house, be arriving at Disney's Caribbean Beach yeah. yeah. Resort. All passengers must disembark or transfer at this station. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed your journey. Yeah. And Actually, thank I you used for to flying work the, at the Disney Beach. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, back in, I was there from April of 97 until July of 98. Oh, the 90s. I love the 90s at Disney. It was it's a good time. A lot different. Yeah. The Caribbean Beach is so beautiful, too. It was a lot different back then as well. Yeah, it was. Well, they tore down a nine buildings to make way for the Riviera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is, I mean, this feels great. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, it's it's so high and it's no. going to be jumpy and bumpy and it's so no. smooth. And and it doesn't even feel like you're that high. No, I'll you're still live streaming. You know? I'll tell you, yeah. anyone listening right now, I'll tell you, there is a wonderful breeze in here. Yeah. It is just absolutely beautiful. So anyone thinks you're going to be hot and humid, no. Yeah. That's not the case at all. Please I mean, seated. honestly, you know, if it stops, once the wind stops, it does get a little stale in here, but it's not uncomfortable at all. Your 
Yeah, when one it's one moving, it's so Thank feels so good when it's moving. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide a sus pequeñitos, reúna sus pertenencias y observe sus pasos. Gracias por volar. Uh, it'll it'll stop every once in a while, just for maybe 30 seconds or so, a minute. Yeah, I sent you a. Um... Looks sometimes they slow it down if there's uh, somebody pushing a stroller in or something. They they may slow it down just a little bit. Yeah, I sent you a couple of instant messages. I was hoping you have a chance to respond. But I don't know okay. The, the group thing. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Like I said, it's just been yeah. crazy, so. Yeah. I just figured you're moving into a house. And yeah. I wanted to, if I can help you out in any way, that would I appreciate that. Yeah, that's the bull wheel. Yeah, the, the noise you hear, that's the uh, that's the engine that's running it. So this is about the loudest point in the whole system right here, so. Thank you. So where are you guys heading to? Okay. Yeah, that's the clock that used to be at the, uh, yeah, at the front desk. Yeah, at the front, house. yeah. That's why I worked at the Crescent House front desk. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I didn't even realize that somebody pointed it out to me and they're like, that's the clock from the Custom House. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I mean, that's, it's perfect in here because it, it's almost like Grand Central Station in here. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's perfect. But yeah, I'm gonna jump back on Hollywood and head back okay. over, so. Awesome. Pleasure, pleasure awesome. That was really cool. Good, and, uh, good timing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Take care, my friend. Have fun. Bye bye. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome. Got to ride with a couple of nice guys right there. It's always, always, always fun to watch somebody's first reaction when they when they ride and they jump on. I remember my first reaction, you know, it's that, that thrill of when it shoots out for the first time and you're not expecting, you know, what it's actually gonna be like and it shoots out really quick and then all of a sudden it's like instantly smooth. Once you're up in the air, it's just smooth and it just feels so good once you're up there. So that was a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna jump back onto Hollywood Studios. We're gonna head back over that way. Just me. What's that? Yes, that would be nice. Thank you so much. That's okay. They can go. You sure? All right. Thank you. Thank you. So we need to get passports. Yes, we do. Passport to the parks. Well, I love that uh, a lot of the cast members are saying hello. They're recognizing the videos and everything. So again, they do such an amazing job here. I cannot say how much I love the cast members at Disney. They are always, always, always great to interact with. Uh, very knowledgeable, very friendly, and they're always there to, uh, to make your experience uh, that much more enjoyable. So always a thumbs up for the cast members. Yeah, this takes you all the way up to the highest point. So coming out of Hollywood Studios over here, it's a little lower when you start. So it's a good place to start if you're riding for the first time. And Islanders of all ages, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach. Kyle, Park. the lines are not long at all today. It's midday, so most of the people are in the parks. 
So not bad at all. I've had uh, a gondola to myself each time. Um, you know, except for my, my two riders that came with me here, so. Yeah, all in all, it's been really, really great today. People are definitely riding back and forth. Uh, no issues at all. Feels good, it's midday, it's about 90 degrees out today, and it feels really, really good in here. Um, I'm always, always hot, so look, I'm not even uh, like sweating at all. I feel good in here. So definitely no issues at all. That's pretty cool. You can see the uh, Caribbean beach still behind us. <laughs> it's always a lot of fun. Wow, uh, they are the best part of the show. Uh, to agree. The cast members can incorporate the park. Especially when you, when you get into places like Galaxy's Edge and uh, Pandora. Galaxy's Edge especially. I mean, they, they are just totally immersed in, you know, Batu. I mean, you're definitely on another planet when you're, when you're in uh, Galaxy's Edge. In just a few minutes, we will be in at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Whether you plan to visit a galactic outpost or play with all of Andy's toys, at Disney Studios, everyone can become the their favorite cinematic stories. Into the really, really great choice on the voice too. I love the, I love the female voice. Uh, sounds pleasant. Really great. You know, it's just a, a couple times about the you where you're at gives you a little bit of information. Just makes you feel good. My Disney Experience mobile app. Download the Disney you can also view your star-studded itinerary at a Fast Pass Plus kiosk when we arrive. Kevin and Teresa, Rob is a super positive guy. We need more people like Rob. Thank you so much. Uh, absolutely, I will always stay positive about things. Um, you know, even when there's there's negativity spewing around and people want to hate and they want to say terrible things, uh, you know, you can always find a positive outlook. Expedition Greg, two dollar super chat. I'm ready. The reason that looks amazing. I watched DSMY video on. Um, Really, really. So definitely check out a really great video on Andy. This is stuff over there. It's a little rattly with the sheaves, the wheels. It rattles a little. Hello. Thank you so much. You get another great shot of the secondary loading track back here. This is where scooters and wheelchairs would load. They can take a little bit of extra time. So they bring the gondolas back here. They stop them. And they can load wheelchairs on board. And then they just rejoin the, uh, the front track. Brilliant, brilliant idea. So you don't have to stop the, the system every single time you want to load a scooter or a wheelchair. There's the friendship boats. Still an awesome form of transportation. I still love the boats, still love the buses. You know, there's just so many options. It's great to have options, especially when you're at Disney. You know, having the monorail, having the Skyliner, having the boats, having the buses. You know, we just have to give props to Disney for coming up with all these different options for us, all these different modes of transportation. They're really trying to do their best, you know, to make the experience, you know, great for everyone. Thank you, shit, sir. Thank you, appreciate that. Robert, hey Rob, it's Robert. It was great to uh, ride the Skyliner with you and the, on the others on opening day, we'll be back in December. Awesome, awesome. Yes, that was an awesome time riding with everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of that. 
please let me know when you come back. We'll definitely uh, try to hook up and we'll have a good time riding the Skyliner. Because it's open. This is exciting. This is awesome. It's good to see it back running. It's definitely more fun to see things in action and to see things moving than to be negative about things. Um, I'm definitely not jumping on the negative bandwagon. Uh, it's just not me. So if you're looking for that, if you're looking for some sort of an explanation about that, you're just not gonna find it here. Uh, it's just not who I am. I've always been positive. I'll remain positive. I love the Skyliner. Um, you know, take it as you will. Have your own personal opinions, that's great. Um, I love riding it. I'm gonna continue to ride it. It's extremely safe. Disney is extremely safe. Uh, I love the Walt Disney Company. They keep me and my family safe. Um, you know, even when things happen, which they do, and they could happen in the future, you never know. But, you know, I'm here for the long haul and I am going to ride this over and over and over again. So hopefully you guys will do the same. All right, so there you go. I uh, just wanted to jump on and ride it, just have a lot of fun. I have to get back to my house. Um, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on there still, still have a lot to move. Uh, I'm going to try to get here as much as I can. If I do disappear for a couple days, I do apologize, but I will be back as soon as we get through this house ordeal. Um, I will be back in full action. We'll be having a lot of fun going through and doing a lot of cool things. So thank you everyone for being here. Thank you so much for the super chats. Uh, so, so, so appreciated for the very kind support. And uh, it's really nice to be back. It's a beautiful day in here in Florida. Like I said, it's about 90 degrees here. It was so comfortable on board the Skyliner. And thumbs up, we're ready to go. Get out here and ride the Skyliner. It's awesome. And you guys are gonna have a great time when you get here. I do promise you that. So uh, thank you again for being here. Until the next time, uh, oh, visit passportsoftheparks.com, which I really haven't updated. So I do apologize for that. I will start updating the website soon again. I was having some issues with that getting everything under control now that I'm having a little bit more time to, to work with it here. So um, we'll get everything back on track. I do appreciate you sticking around and, uh, and being awesome with me. So um, I guess that's it. You guys have a great day. And until the next time, uh, we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.